and welcome to another video tutorial. This week I wanted to try an unconventional thing with some frame dies and using a little bit of misting. So I have this piece of cardstock. This is craft cardstock from Hero Arts cut down to 5 inches by 3 and 3 quarters inches, the perfect size to go on a front of a card. And then I have some white Mr. Huey. And then I'm going to use some of my Sizzix framelits, and I'm going to use the largest one, I believe. Alright, so I'm going to use actually the middle one. This comes with this set comes with five, which is actually a pretty good deal for the $19.99 real tail price. You get five dies, so that's not bad. And I keep all of my um, dies in this little hardcover magnetic carrier, which I will link to. But I do have my next video on this channel and on my blog will be about how I store my die cuts and different tips and tricks for using my Sizzix. Um, so look for that for more information on storing my dies. But I'm going to go ahead and use this, set it in my box that I use for misting. This is just like a shoe box that I have. And then place this right about where I want the frame to miss. And then this is just going to be my mask. So you can't put tape it down or anything because other, the tape will block the mist. Alright, it looks good right about there. And now I'm just going to shake up my Mr. Huey. I always make sure you shake up the, especially the pigmented ones and then just spray until it's covered with a fine mist and then let it dry. It's going to be a little bit of time before you can lift it up carefully but it's worth the wait, trust me. And now we'll just wait until it dries. Okay, well that's still drying. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my little critters here. And I've decided I want to use something that's kind of small and compact, but will still bring a pop of color to the card. So I'm going to use this All Little Lovin' set from Paper Smooches, and use this little froggy with the lips, and the crown, and then the sentiment will be Kiss Me. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp all of this in Memento Black ink, and then color it in, and then the lips I'm going to stamp in um, Hero Hues Chalk Ink in Punch, and then just cut everything out, and then they'll be all ready to put on our card once it's dry. much dry and you can see it's the perfect little frame for my little froggy so I'm really excited about that. I'm just going to start by adhering these little pieces right here onto the frog and it's going to be a girl frog because I gave it lips obviously and those look like they have lipstick on. I also drew around the lips because the stamp is solid um, that comes with the set so I actually drew in the line across the stamp with a pen. And to add a little crown on, I just adhered it to this scrap piece of paper that I had, and now I'll adhere it to the top. So you see, this way I don't have to put it actually on the frog itself and take up some of the space. It'd look really funny just kind of sitting on its forehead. But this way it'll look like it's sitting on top of him. Her. <laughs> and I'm also going to cut some banner edges in these. So now I'm just going to use some foam adhesive to adhere my frog and my banner down to my main piece. There we go, and now we can just adhere down this main piece to the main white piece. And I might round the corners, let's see how it looks. I think I'll round the corners just with the one quarter inch rounder and to make them really give that 
corner some contrast. And as you can see, it's really all about the dimension here. We have white on top of white on top of white. So it's important that you have the foam adhesive here. Just so that when light shines on the card, it's really easy to see the definition between the layers. And it gives a really cool effect. So here we have our finished card for this week. It's kind of clean and simple. But I really like that we can use something we already have on hand for free. And all you have to do is run a baby wipe over the dye and it's completely clean and not damaged at all from the mist. So this gives us the perfect outline and it's very royal and perfect for a little Prince Charming type deal. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the card this week. Thank you very much for watching and make sure you check out my blog, BrutusWiderski.com, for a detailed supply list and everything else you ever wanted to know about this card. Um, I will catch you again next week on another weekly video tutorial.